Hello mga kawamat! In this video lesson, we will discuss integration using table of integrals. So ito yung summary ng table of integrals. Number 1, the integrals of dx is equal to x plus c. So yung c dito is constant term. Number 2, the integral of x raised to n. dx is equal to x raised to n plus 1 over n plus 1 plus c. So ito yung tinatawag nating power rule. If n should not be equal to negative 1. And number 3, a times f of x dx is equal to a. So kapag may constant tayo, ilalabas natin dito sa unahan ng integral sign natin. Is equal to a times the integral of f of x dx. Number 4, so ito naman yung sum and difference ng integral natin. Number 5, we have uh, ito ay exponential na. No? The integral of e raised to x dx is equal to e raised to x plus c. Number 6, we have the integral of a raised to x dx is equal to a raised to x over ln a plus c. Number 7, we have the integral of x raised to negative 1 dx is equal to, so yung x raised to negative 1 ay pwede ring the integral of 1 over x dx is equal to ln, the absolute value of x plus c. Number 8, so ito ay trigonometric function na. So the integral of sine x dx is equal to negative cosine x plus c. And number 9, the cosine x dx or the integral of cosine x dx is equal to the integral of sine x plus c. Next, number 9, the integral of cosine x dx is equal to the integral of sine x plus c. Number 10, the integral of secant squared x dx is equal to tangent x plus c. And then, number 11, so we have the integral of cosecant squared x dx is equal to negative cotangent x plus c. Number 12, the integral of secant x tangent x dx is equal to secant x plus c. Number 13, the integral of cosecant x cotangent x dx is equal to negative cosecant x plus c. Number 14, the integral of tangent x dx is equal to negative ln, the absolute value of cosine x plus c. Number 15, the integral of cotangent dx is equal to ln, the absolute value of sine x plus c. And number 16, the integral of secant x dx is equal to ln, the absolute value of secant x plus tangent x plus c. Number 17, we have the integral of cosecant x dx is equal to uh, ln, the absolute value of cosecant x minus cotangent x plus c. So, wala na itong integral sign. So, dapat wala ito. So, number 18, the integral of dx over the square root of a squared minus x squared. So, ito yung tinatawag nating inverse no? ng trigonometric function is equal to the inverse of sine times x over a plus c. Number 19, the integral of dx over a squared plus x squared dx is equal to 1 over a times tan tangent or the inverse of tangent plus c. Okay. So, lagyan lang natin ng plus c. Next, number 20. We have the integral of dx over the over x times the square root of x squared minus a squared is equal to 1 over a times the inverse of secant times x over a plus c. So, yan ay gagamitin natin no? sa mga i-discuss natin ngayon. So, number 1. So, evaluate x or the integral of x to the 4 times secant the quantity x to the 5th dx. So, first, ang gagawin natin, so, uh, gagamitin natin yung integration using substitution. So, let u as x to the 5th power and then kunin natin yung derivative nito, yung x to the 5th and that is 5x to the 4th dx. Since ang 5x ay di natin nakikita dito sa given, so we are going to multiply both sides ng equation natin by the reciprocal of 5. So 1 uh, over 5 times du is equal to 5x to the 4th dx 
over uh, times 1 over 5. So, maka-cancel natin yung 5. So, ang may iwan na lang is 1 over 5 du is equal to x to the 4th dx. So, ito yung x to the 4th dx. So, ang sagot natin dyan is 1 over 5 du. So, balik tayo dito sa example number 1 uh, sa given natin. So, yung secant and then yung x to the 5th, palitan natin ng u times Yung x to the 4th dx, ito na yon yung 1 fifth du. And then after that, so since constant ito, ilalagay natin siya dito sa unahan na integral sign. So 1 over 5 times the integral of secant u du. So kung tatanda, ako natandaan nyo kanina yung mga formulas, okay? So ang secant u or the integral of secant is equal to ln the absolute value of secant u plus tangent u plus c. And then, imumultiply natin yung 1 over 5 dito. So, maging 1 over 5. Since that, uh, dapat, so, tanggal na dapat yung absolute value, uh, yung integral sign natin. So, tanggalin lang natin. Okay. So, the final answer will be 1 fifth times ln. So, ibabalik na natin yung u natin, which is x to the fifth power so ln the absolute value of secant x to the fifth power plus tangent x to the fifth power plus c so that will be the final answer another okay evaluate the integral of 4 plus cosine x to the fourth over sine uh, times x to the fourth dx so ang u natin dito yung x to the fourth so let u is equal to x to the fourth and kunin natin yung derivative nito ano yung derivative ng x to the fourth so 1 okay 1 fourth dx okay so 1 fourth dx yung derivative nung ano natin uh, ay yung derivative nung x to the fourth x over 4 rather okay so after that since yung 1 fourth dx may kita ba natin yung 1 fourth dx so hindi so we're going to multiply both side ng equation sa reciprocal ng 1 over 4. Yung reciprocal ng 1 over 4 is 4. So, 4 times du is equal to 1 fourth dx times 4. So, magiging 1 na lang ito kasi 1 times 4, that is 4. 4 divide 4 dx na lang. So, maging 4 du is equal to dx. And after that, so, balik tayo dito. So, magiging 4 plus cosine u. So, yung u ang x over 4 ay u na lang over sine u times 4 du. Kasi yung dx, papalitan natin ng 4 du. And then, pwede natin itong paghiwalayin. So, magiging, since may constant tayong 4, ilabas na natin si 4. So, 4 times the integral of, so ito paghihiwalayin lang natin. So, 4 over sine u plus cosine u over sine u. So, again, class, kasi since, ah, uh, Diba pag nag a tayo ng fraction, kapag same naman yung denominator, ina lang natin yung exponent, ay yung numerator. So, ganun lang din dito. So, and after that, uh, dun sa trigo, sa trigonometric ano natin, diba? Uh, ano yung 1 over sine nyo sa identity natin? Okay, diba? Meron tayong, ano yung 1 over sine? Since 4 ang nakalagay dito, that is reciprocal siya ng cosecant. Okay, so 4 times the integral of 4 cosecant u kasi yung uh, th this one is the uh, reciprocal ng cosecant natin since may 4 tayo dyan, so ilagay lang natin. Plus, yung cosine over sine, di ba pag nagsusolve tayo dun sa trigonometric function natin, Yung cosine over sine natin, that is cotangent u. Then after that, so mula dito, so pwede nating uh, i-distribute muna si 4 dito sa loob. So i-multiply natin. 4 times 4, that is will become 16 cosecant u. Plus, since 4 times 1, that is 4, times the integral of cotangent u du. And then after that, kunin natin ang mga ito doon sa 20 formulas na present ko sa inyo kanina. So, the, ang cosecant u natin, that is ln, so 16 
times ln, the absolute value of cosecant u minus cotangent u plus 4 times yung uh, sagot natin dito, the integral of cotangent u is ln, the absolute value of sine u plus c. And then after that, ibalik natin yung u which is x, to the x over 4. So 16 ln, the absolute value of cosecant x over 4 minus cotangent x over 4 plus 4 ln, the absolute value of sine x over 4 plus c. So this will be the final answer. Okay, so example number 3, ito ay halimbawa nung inverse, no? nung trigonometric function natin. So, ang gagamitin natin dyan is yung number 18 na formula. So, as you can see, meron tayong perfect square dito. So, itong gagamitin natin. So, ito ay mag ang 9 ay pwede natin express as 3 squared. Okay. So, ang A natin dito ay yung 3. Okay. So, the integral mula dito sa given, the integral of 1 over the square root of 3 squared minus x squared dx. So, susundan lang natin itong formula number 18 natin. So, parehong-pareho sila, di ba? So, equals ito sa inverse ng sine, inverse ng sine times x over 3. Kasi yung a natin ay 3 plus c. So, ito na yung final answer sa example number 3. So, proceed tayo sa example number 4. The integral of dx over 9x squared plus 36. So, ito naman ang apply natin dito, yung formula number 19. So, we have the integral of dx over a, a squared plus x squared dx is equal to 1 over a times the inverse of tangent. Okay, so what's next? So, ang 9x squared, so pwede natin express as 3x squared. And then, okay, yung derivative natin dito is yung 3x. And then, ang derivative ng 3x is 3dx. Okay. After that, since hindi natin nakikita yan, no? so what's next is, multiply natin both side ng equation by one-third sa reciprocal ng 3. So, one-third times du is equal to 3dx times one-third. So, makancel ito. So, maging sagot nila is one-third du is equal to dx. And after that, okay, so one-third, uh, so this will be du dapat, no? Palitan natin. Okay, so after that, so since constant ito, ilabas lang natin yung constant dun sa unahan. And then, yung A natin dito, di ba susundan natin tong formula natin. So yung A natin dito, yung 6. Okay, hindi yung 3x ha, yung 6. Okay, kung ano yung constant natin since ang ito may kasama pang variable. So ilabas natin si 1 third. And then ilalabas din natin si 1, 6. Kasi dito, di ba, nilagay siya sa unahan. 1, 6 times the ta uh, inverse of tangent. And then, uh, okay, so hindi nakita yung, may karugtong pa ito, yung formula natin sa 19, hindi na nakita. So, times u over 6 plus c. So, yung a natin dito is 6, ito yon Yung a natin dito is yung 6. And after that, so, multiply natin ito, that is 1 over 18, ta, uh, the inverse of tangent, times yung u natin, ano yung u natin? 3x over 6 plus c. So, th this will be the final answer na. Okay, and then, ah, okay, so pwede pa pala natin to simplify, kasi yung 3 over 6, so that is 1 half. So, hindi ko na ilagay yung 1 dyan, so x na lang, no? So, the final answer is 1 over 18, Okay, inverse of tangent times the quantity of x over 2 plus c. That's the final answer. Another example, we have the integral of dx over x ln x square root of ln x squared minus 9. So, as you can see, meron tayong radical. So, yun ang kukunan natin ng u. So, ang gagamitin natin this time, yung formula number 20. So, ang u natin dito is yung ln x. So, what is the derivative ng ln x? 1 over x dx. So, since yung 1 over x, ito yung x natin, di ba? So, yung 1 nandito, 1 over x dx nandito sa given natin. So, hindi na natin siya i-multiply both side sa reciprocal nito. So, proceed na tayo sa pag-evaluate nito. 
So, du, so ang du natin is yung 1x over dx over, so yung u natin, okay, so ito, u yan ha, l and x, ito yon yung u, square root of u squared minus 9. Okay, so after that, so yung 9 na to pwede natin express as 3 squared. So ito yung a natin, yung 3. And then, so ilalabas lang natin yan. So, 1 over A. So, ano yung A natin ulit? Yung 3. So, 1 over A times, okay, ito, the inverse of secant times the quantity of U over 3 plus C. So, anong U? Babalik natin yung L and X. So, that is 1 third sec, uh, the inverse of secant times L and X over 3 plus C. So, this will be the final answer. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button para updated kayo for more video tutorial. This is your guide in learning your math lesson, your WOW Math channel.